Friends, brothers, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Look at this day. So nice. It's, it looks like summer, but I can assure you it feels like autumn stroke winter. It was two degrees on the way over here today. It's pretty cold. Uh, so wet waiting days are numbered. I haven't been in here since the beginning of the season. So I'm pretty, pretty, oh, ah, I'm always excited to come in here. It's a super cool piece of water. Uh, looks like it got fished yesterday, if not the day before, judging by the footprints I've seen. So it'll be interesting to see if that has any bearing on how we get on today. But to be fair, all I want to do today is catch one or two fish on a streamer and I'm a happy boy. I'll run you through what I'm using. We'll go fishing. All right, all right, all right. So two rods. They're both going to be the same. The Helios 3 6 weight F. It's a great rod. If I had to choose between a 5 weight and a 6 weight, I don't think I could. They're both just so nice to use. This is just a bit of a bigger river. I'm going to be swinging some streamers, uh, some heavy nymph rigs, some long leaders, you know, indicators, that kind of stuff. So having the 6 weight just gives you a little bit more kind of grunt, a little bit more oomph when you need it. Other than that, they're both beautiful rods. Really, really nice. Easily my favorite rod, without a doubt. A couple of blue ducks over there, hanging out in this pool I'm gonna start in. It's pretty cool. So I'll set up the streamer rod first, just because I want to, and I've got a new line I wanna tell you about. So there you go, that's Popeye. Helios 3 6 weight F. So on there, we're gonna add the Mirage LT size two reel, and the kind of olive, actually same kind of olive as as the rod, which is quite cool, I think. Okay, so I've changed the line I've put on here. I haven't used this line yet. The other line I've been using all season is a Sonar Titan 3D, which is an intermediate Sync 3, Sync 5 um, sinking line. And then what I've changed this out for is a Trout Express 210 grain sinking line. What's well, a sink tip line? So it's a floating running line, and then I think it goes an intermediate section down to a Sync 5 section. Dustin put me onto this actually. He's been using it and says it's, uh, it's just better for fishing in the rivers because you can control that uh, running line um, a bit better than the other one because it's floaty obviously. So you can mend and get across sort of complicated currents and, and all that kind of thing. So I'll grab one of those and this is the first time um, I've brought it out on the river. So we'll give it a go. I'm quite excited to use it and just see what kind of a difference it makes. All right, so on there, we're gonna add some 16 pound fluorocarbon. So I'm just gonna tie a perfection loop in that. This is the absolute supreme fluorocarbon game from Scientific Anglers. And then I'm gonna do about, not long, four feet maybe. Well, I haven't really used a longer leader than that yet. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but it does seem to, you know, to work. Now I'm gonna chuck on that, that game changer I've been using so successfully um, over summer. But I want to show you this. Check out this new streamer box. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Jeff Pierce who sent me the box and the, some of the flies that are in there. Beautiful selection of his flies. And also for the artwork, I want to take a big shout out to Tyler Halleck who just did that for me. Took the box, put that beautiful rainbow trout on there. You should go check him out on Instagram. I'll link him below. He's, he's got skills, man. So Tyler, thank you so much, my friend. That's, uh, that's awesome. And then also, Jeff, you're a legend, man. I've got some of the purple nurples in there, but I'm gonna start off with this big game changer, which I just love fishing. Okay. So I'm just gonna use a lefty's loop to tie the streamer on. I'll link a video up here for the knots I use um, in case you're interested and don't know how to tie these, these knots I'm talking about. Oh, take it into the hip pack and boom. That is about as easy as it gets to set up a fly rod. Line, short bit of leader, whack on a fly, job done. So that's that guy good to go. Hopefully we can move some fish on that today. Next, we're gonna go for the... Oh, I bought the six weight D. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That's okay, that's okay. I thought I bought the six weight F, but I actually bought the six weight D, which is a little overkill for here today, but it's what we got. I'm an idiot and I didn't check what gear, I just grabbed rods and threw them in. So I should be quite good to use this because I haven't used this rod for ages. Since I got the F, I really haven't had a need to use this. There is so much power in this rod, it's ridiculous. All right, so yeah, this is the Helios 3 6 weight D. And then on there, I'm gonna chuck on, again, 
the Mirage LT size 2 reel, slightly darker olive. We all know what's on there, guys. It's the Scientific Anglers Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line in a 6 way. I actually can't remember the last time I fished. It's been a couple of weeks, actually, since I fished. I haven't actually fished since I got back from the South Island. I got back, I went straight into like four days of guiding. Then I moved into my new little pad. So yeah, I've been a busy boy and I haven't done any fishing, so it's good to be back out. All right, so I've got a poly leader on here from obviously the last time I fished, this reel. So I'll take the poly leader off and we'll build a straight through leader just because we're gonna be doing mainly kind of heavy nymphing with some deep pools in this river and poly leader doesn't really help you in that situation you're better off taking the poly leader off building a straight through thin diameter leader so those flies get down real quick into the zone and stay there anyway i'm not going to bore you with the details of how i tie a nymph rig from scratch again what i'll do is i'll link a video up here where i go into that in detail and you can check that out if you're interested. So I'll finish off this rig and catch up with you over there. Let's give it a bit of a nymph up. I mean, this is quiet. That one. Changing my angle, it's got downstream of the fish. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it didn't last long. So I always like to try and, where I can, be at least opposite the fish, if not a little bit downstream of the fish. And then that way you can get a good low rod angle to the side. And then you've got good angle and good leverage to kind of persuade that fish out of that current over towards you. I never like the fish downstream of me if I can help it. Scrappy. Whoa. You're never trying to bully the fish, you're just trying to persuade him. Always trying to persuade him, like, dude, it's better over here. It's better over here. Always. Because as long as he's in that current, like that, you don't have a very good chance of doing anything with him. Come on, dude. Come on. It's a beautiful fish. Nice. Whew. Man, that's a solid fish. Look at that. Just beautiful. All right, my friend, we're going to get you straight out of here. Go on in. Sweet. Wasn't on the streamer, but
but we're on the board, so pretty happy about that. And I put that streamer through there, so it just goes to show, just because you don't get an eat using one method, it's not worth trying another method through the same piece of water, just in case. That was good. And he had a uh, size 14 um, UV flashback pheasant tail, Cat 3, you know, you know the one. I'm gonna put a few more through there, um, just cause, and then we'll boost up there and we'll try that streamer again. There you go, there you go, turbo mend in full effect. Just slowing that drift down on the other side of that fast water. Oh, it's a, no, it's a rainbow. And that hook has popped out of his mouth and caught in the tail by the look and the feel of it. It's gonna make things a little bit interesting on your own. Kinda hope he comes off for his sake. We don't like doing this. To try and swing him in and kind of half beach him and then run in and try and net him. Oh, there he goes, shit. Bugger. That light way up in there was, um, I don't know, somewhere in the, in the initial running around of the fight there, the hook came out of its mouth drop back and caught in his tail um much you can do about that but i was just you know trying to swing him into the side so i could kind of you know potentially beach him and land him and uh snapped snapped me off bust me off uh and again that's why i go on so much about crushing your barbs you know you know that's got a much better chance of dropping out of that fish a lot quicker than if it had a barb on it so yep yeah. I know I sound like a broken record, but I really believe in it. Crush your barbs, it makes a huge difference. I'm just chucking on some sunscreen. It's not um, particularly warm, but the sun is fierce, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's worth doing. This is where I've been slack in the past. There's like days like this where it's not really hot, but it's real sunny. And I've just kind of, no, nah, I've just kind of been lazy, not bothered. Anyway, I'm running the so dope stuff. This is not the tinted one, um, so I look a bit white, but it's still good stuff, and I really like the tinted one, which I forgot to put in my bag. But yeah, if you want to get yourself some of this, links in the description below. Use that discount code TRIPPIN15, I think it is, uh, and save yourself some money and some skin cancer. All right, can we drag one out on the streamer in the next pool? I think we can. Yes, right at the tail, right at the rod tip. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> he had so many goes at that. A bit of a skinny fish, but uh, the eat was epic. Yeah, oh man. I'm not gonna mess with him too much because as you can see, he's a bit skinny, but he smashed that. Look at that cool fish. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Wicked. That was the coolest eat. He came in and had about three swipes at it and I just kept moving it and nudging it and tweaking it and then uh, eventually came back one last time did a big twitch pause and then just as it started to sink he just turned around and smashed it at the rod tip uh, a bit of a skinny fish which is why i didn't mess with him i just let him straight, go straight away but the eat the eat was everything right there the visuals was awesome i hope it came out on here it was so cool job done happy with that
fuck out of it. Boom. Okay, so I found a fish. Bit of an awkward place, really. So I'm just gonna have a crack at him, but I'm in the middle of the river. I've got rods hanging off me, stick hanging off me. Ugh. I've got nowhere to put anything down or set up. So this is very kind of half-hearted and lame. But I'm gonna have a go. He's not really doing anything, so my hopes aren't uber high, but we'll have a go. You see it? We're caught in the bottom right next to his head. Perfect. Okay, that's that done. There we go. There's a brown trout that I didn't see. Oh, he didn't catch. Yeah. All right. Come on in, see if we can uh, convert this one. Oof. Beautiful color jet. Not an easy piece of water to land fish in this, if I'm honest. Fish are just so scrappy, you know? They just don't give an inch, ever. You get close and then boom, off again, you're back to square one. Just play the game, keep that side pressure on. Just try and shorten that leash, nope. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. <laughs> Hook popped out. Oh, man. Look at that cool bird. Working. Well, that was unfortunate. The old Schneider 9 has taken hold. Uh, it's funny, actually, I think the last time I came to this river, I lost a ton of fish, too. And for no particular reason other than just, you know, bad luck. That was the brown and the rainbow. I lost small brown, and that rainbow was a better fish, but just, just hook popped out. I'm going to put my thermal back on, I think. Even though the sun's out, it went in just now, and I was pretty cold, so I think I might just rug up again. It's... 20 past one, so I'll give it another hour or two before we get out of here. Surely we can get another fish on the board and uh, break this Schneider knife. Surely. There we go. That's a rainbow. That's a chunky rainbow too. Oh. I don't know if we're gonna be staying in this pool, if I'm honest. It's mm. kind of what I thought might happen. Ah, shit. I only have one option here. And that's to try and negotiate all these rapids down into the piece of water I just came from. Oh, it's a big boulder. Raked my line over the top of that. Didn't like that much. 
These bowls are slippy. I have no sound on them. They're like ice. <sighs> Gotta be so careful. Potentially, do it in here. Come on. Oh, so close. Oh, yes. Whoo. All right. That's just a mega fish. Look at you, man. Okay, you know when like just everything that can go wrong goes wrong? That was just one of those times as far as camera, camera equipment goes. Uh, as I was trying to land that fish in the rapids here running downstream, this battery kept running out and then eventually I got him in the net. Hopefully I got that on here. I kept turning it on and off. Uh, beautiful fish, like really cool fish. What a, what a great fish to break the snide and I'm super happy with that. Uh, then what happened? Oh yeah, then as I was trying to film him, the SD card on here was full. So to change that over, this kept running out. Ugh, chaos, absolute chaos. Anyway, stoked, great fish. I'm made up now. As far as I'm concerned, my day is made. I will fish the next piece of water up here. Uh, and then I'll probably actually turn around to be honest because well, it's pretty much the end of my day and yeah, it's getting late. Just kept working, just had to keep working. Another one of those days where just, just I was getting the eats, getting the hookups, but they just weren't sticking. But you persevere and eventually it all comes together. And that was a cracking fish, really, really cool colors. I like him, he had lots of character. Um, all right, one more piece of water, eh? Pretty good stuff. And there's a fish. Ooh. Ooh, that's a brown fish. Potentially, it's brown to me. Yep, that's a brown fish. Yeah. Fish is more in the net than they did in the water. With that, my friend, is a brown trout. Yeah, that's a cool fish. Okay, so that's it. I fished the rest of that pool, um, didn't find anything, put the streamer through at the end, didn't find anything, didn't move anything. So that brown trout was the finisher and I'm super happy with that. It was a really cool fish to finish on. He actually, he actually fought more in the net than he did in the water. <laughs> he just kind of, it was almost like he didn't realize he was hooked until he was in the net and then he, uh, then he didn't like it much. But really cool fish, big head, kind of cool crocodile jaw. So it was really good. Really cool day, it's getting cold now. Like I put my thermal on a while ago um, and I'm now just like thinking I might need another layer as well. But I'll probably warm up on the walk out. Definitely not summer, definitely not summer. Those backcountry skins, uh, neoprene leggings really helped me out today. I enjoy wet wading, but I would have been super cold without those backcountry skins. So links in the description below. 
go check them out. They're, they're really cool. And you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, you're coming into your summer, your spring, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it'll get you wet wading quicker and earlier than if you don't have them. All right, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. If you like these videos, do me a favor and share them with your friends. Chuck them on your Facebook, put them on your Instagram, whatever, and I'd really appreciate it. All right, you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.